So here in this question for six marks, we're told that a curve C has the equation y is equal to f of x. We're given some further information. So we're told that the derivative of f of x, so f dash x, is equal to 6x squared plus ax minus 23. And we're told that this value a is a constant. We're told that the y-intercept of C, so this is our curve, it has value negative 12. And we're told that x plus 4 is a factor of f of x. And here, we're, what is the question asking us to do? We're asked to find f of x in its simplest form. So we write down here that we have f dash x is equal to 6x squared plus ax minus 23. So therefore, we know that we want to go from f dash x to f of x. So how are we going to do this? So we are going to integrate. So we can write here that f of x is going to be equal to the integral of the derivative of f of x, and that's going to be integrating with respect to x. So now what we can do is we can carry this out. So f of x is going to be equal to the integral of f dash x. So I'll just substitute that in. So from up here, we know that that was going to be 6x squared plus 8x. And then we're going to subtract 23 and we're integrating with respect to x. So then the next step for us is going to be to do the integration. So we'll just do that over here in purple. So the integral of 6x squared with respect to x. So how are we going to work this out? So we will add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we're going to have 6x cubed over the new power, which is 3. And then our next term, we'll have the integral of a of x with respect to x. So we don't know what a is, but that doesn't matter. So we're going to have add 1 to the power. So a x squared divided by a new power, which is 2. And finally, negative 23 integrated with respect to x is going to be equal to, well, we don't have any x at the moment, so that means we'll now have x to the power of 1, so negative 23x. Then we can take these and substitute them back in to our original equation. And then we will add the constant c, which you may notice we've not added here, but since this is just scratch work, that's okay. But we'll now add the constant c when we write all of our terms down here. So continuing this on, we'll have, then we can actually, before we substitute in, also simplify this. So we have 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So we can say that is 2x cubed, actually. So what we're going to have, going back down to substituting this in, we'll have 2x cubed. Then we're going to add on ax squared divided by 2. Then we're going to subtract 23x, and then we're going to add our constant of integration, c. So we'll just add to that in, constant of integration. So what is this again? We'll just continue this down here. That's f of x. So we're now told we're going to use this second piece of information that we're given here. So we're told that the y-intercept of c is 12. So we know that the y-intercept is going to occur when the value of x is equal to 0. So therefore, what we can do is we can say for x equals 0, we're going to have that f of 0 is going to be equal to 2 lots of 0 cubed plus a multiplied by 0 squared divided by 2 minus 23 lots of zero and then we're going to add on c and what is this going to be equal to so this is going to be equal to the value of the y-intercept so we know that f of zero is going to be negative 12 so this is all equal to negative 12 and what's that that's the y-intercept so i.e y when x is equal to zero so then just kind of putting these values into our calculator or we can even do it by just looking at it we see this is going to be zero this is going to be zero and so is this so therefore we have that c is going to be equal to minus 12. And this means we can now substitute this back into our expression. So we'll have that f of x is going to be equal to, so we'll have 2x cubed plus ax squared over 2. So over 2, and then we're going to subtract 23x, and now we have that c is negative 12. 
so we will subtract 12. So now what do we need to do? So this is starting to look, look good. We're looking to find f of x in its simplest form, so we're getting there. But there's one thing that we can still do. We can work out what this value of a is. So looking back at the information we're given, we have used that information to integrate. We have now used the y-intercept information, so we now need to use this here. So the fact that x plus 4 is a factor of f of x. So what does this mean? So just writing this down, if x plus 4 is a factor of f of x, then this means that f of negative 4 is going to be equal to 0. So in other words, negative 4 is a root. So what we can now do, we can use this information and do similar to what we've done here, but with substituting in f of negative 4. So therefore, we have that f of negative 4 is going to be equal to 0, which is going to be equal to, so we look at our equation here again, so we'll have 2 lots of negative 4, and we're going to cube that, and we're going to add in a multiplied by negative 4 squared, we divide that by 2, then we're going to subtract negative 23 multiplied by our value for x, which is negative 4, and then we add on our constant, which in our case is negative 12. So what we can do is we can put these values into our calculator, and we have that 0 is going to be equal to negative 128 plus 8 lots of a plus 80. So rearranging this, we can just tidy up this here and leave 8a on one side. And then we'll have negative 128 add 80. And then we'll add that to both sides, which leaves us with negative 48 here. So then we can solve this. So we can then say, therefore, a is going to be equal to negative 48. And we divide that by 8. And what's negative 48 over 8? That is going to be equal to negative 6. So therefore, what we can say is we can say that f of x is going to be equal to, so now what we're going to do is rewrite this expression here, but we've now found our value for a. So we're going to have 2x cubed, then we're going to add on negative 6x squared over 2, which is going to be negative 3, because we have negative 6 divided by 2, then we have our x squared, and then after that we subtract 23x, and then we subtract 12, and that's a completed answer where we've shown f of x in its simplest form. So we have the f of x equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 23x, take away 12. And that's us completed this question. So looking back, it was worth 6 marks. So we receive our first mark for knowing to integrate. So we receive that first mark at this stage here. We then receive our second mark for having the integration correct. So that was correctly integrating all of our terms and adding our constant of integration. So that was at this stage here, we received our second mark. We then receive our third mark for using the y-intercept information and concluding that our constant c was equal to negative 12. Then moving on from here, we receive our fourth mark for knowing to use this fact that uh, x plus 4 is a factor and then that means that f of negative 4 is equal to 0 and then substituting that in so that's where we receive our fourth mark just about here we then receive our fifth mark for correctly working out the value of a and then just to finish things off we receive our sixth and final mark for concluding with the correct answer which we have here when we stated f of x in its simplest form